Hello everybody, welcome to another classical guitar lesson with me, Ross the music teacher. Um, so just going through all my legal obligations here at the beginning, you can check out musicandguitarlessons.com to become a supporting student where you get access to all the goodies on my website that I've created including fretboard games and my PDF collection. The PDF collection is a good one. Um, so go and check that out. The sheet music you're seeing on the screen here comes from the IMSLP, which is the International Sheet Music Library, something along those lines, but you should give them money per month too if you really want a lot of awesome sheet music. Of course, their service is free, but nobody keeps lights on for free, so donate to them too, guys, in the effort for spreading education free worldwide your personal support is always needed this effort doesn't happen without you and thank you for watching this video so without further ado let's dive right in here this is such a little a pretty little piece not such a little piece it is a little piece but it's a pretty little piece i hope you enjoyed my um playthrough of it. I'll play that again here at the end of the lesson, but we need to talk about some of the important things first. So if you have your attention on the screen, you'll notice we're in 3-4, which means we have three beats per measure. And you'll also notice that sharp there on the F, the top of the staff, that means we are either in G major or E minor, and in this case we're actually in E minor, and our proof is here we have an E minor chord, our E, G, and B. So if that music theory stuff seems daunting to you, check out Music Theory and One Lesson on my channel. I'm also gonna be coming out with a guitar edition very, very soon. Um, that'll cover th your chord progressions and things like that. I'm gonna rattle off music theory analysis as we go through the lesson. It's really important for you guys to get that foundation from my Music Theory in One Lesson. It's the one hour music theory video you can find on my channel page. So to start, we have a simple E minor chord that consists of only open strings. So we have our low open E and our G and B open all at once. And you're going to use your index um, thumb and middle, just bum, like that. We're going to get open high E after that, and then open G and B after that again. So we have this one, two, three. And that's just, a, just the E minor chord going. And then what happens is we get this this the thirds move up so our open g and b which are in thirds move up to an a and a c and we get this cool little grace note where you pull off from the third fret of the b to the first fret so there's our a and c and you're pulling off from this d to that c along with the low open a. super cool sound so we have one two three and then the pull off right and then we go back to open g and b and then our E here, second fret of the D, and we're gonna grab our D sharp, first fret of the B with the open B, and then our F sharp up here, our A, and then we're gonna move our index up for E and A, second fret of the D and G strings respectively, and then lift this up. So let's kind of talk about what's going on here theoretically. Um, so we have our one chord opening with an E minor chord. Right? And then he brings his thirds up and brings them back. Um, and we're just going to call that all E until we get to the D sharp, the B. So we have D sharp, B, F sharp, and A. This is a B7 chord. The D sharp is coming from E harmonic minor. So you can check out the music theory video if you're confused on to, as to what harmonic minor is. But that's one of the uses for harmonic minors. It gives us this five chord, our B7 chord and it makes it a major chord. That D sharp really wants to move up here. And then, so when he goes here, this is actually a sus4 resolution, right? So he's taking this A and trailing it back into our E minor, moving it down to a G, giving us our resolution. So we have one, and this is still one, five, seven, 
1 sus 4, and then that 4 resolves down to the 3. Okay, so next what we're going to be doing is just kind of the same. The, the opening goes back to E minor, and then we get an open E. And be sure to kill all the notes when you hit that open E. With your second finger, you're going to grab the C that's next um, on the third fret of the A string, and you're going to get F sharp, or sorry, E and G, so second fret of the D, and open G, and then our F sharp and A with your pinky, um, and your index, so A second fret of the G and pinky, uh, fourth fret of the D for F sharp, and you're going to have that C ringing the whole time, and then we're going to go back to D sharp and B, of course, giving us our B7 again. Um, and then we get one and two and three and one. All right, so when we go to this D sharp and B, going down to the B on the AND right after that one. And then that is a quarter note on the AND, so it goes over into the two, and on the next AND of the two, we get open A, G, third fret of the low E, F sharp, second of the low E, and then back to the beginning, because then we've hit the double dots, which give us our repeat. So we have one, two, three, one. Second ending here, guys. That is our first ending under the brackets. Second time through, skip the first ending and go straight to the second ending. Now I'm going to show you two fingerings for the second ending. I use one that's a little harder, but I think it sounds better. I'm going to show you the easier version too. So we have our D sharp and B, B, and then I grab this A personally so that it can go down to a G sharp and sound like one, um, one simple line there. So we have bum, bum, bum. But you can also use the open A there. You can use the open A as well. Okay, so the second time through, guys, we're doing one, two, three, one. So the second half here, let me go ahead and scroll the sheet music as you, so you can see it better. So the second half, we're going to start with our G sharp here and B. Okay, so this is an E major chord, which is a 5 of 4 here. So we have E major, and it resolves to our A minor here, right? Now his fingering is here. But I like this because we're going to actually be traveling down in thirds, and I think it sounds better. So we get our open A, our C, fifth of the G, and our E, fifth of the B. And we're going to go to B and D, fourth and third of the, open, of the G and B, and then A and C, and then finally ending on our open D and B of that third measure. So we get one. third measure we start getting some more eighth notes so we're going to get one and two and three and one right so we get our open d and b our a f natural a and then e and g sharp open b and then a and d right um, we have Naturals coming in because we're borrowing from A minor here. He's doing a lot of one, five, and A minor. Next, he's going to arpeggiate an A minor chord and go back to B7, which is five of our E minor. So for a little bit, he's borrowing this, this B diminished chord and then going to E major. And that's a very common thing in classical music. Now, it's He's again borrowing from the A minor key for a moment, so you're seeing some accidentals, 
Um, but if you pretend you're an A minor, that's a five, one, and then a seven diminished, five, and back to one with a suspension there. So this A and D, and then E and G sharp. So he's, he's resolving the bass there. And then we resolve our A and C to make the, the A minor chord again. So I'm gonna play up to that point, and then we're gonna move further. So we have one, the second and the first of the G and B string. Then what happens is we have this kind of rising bass line with this A and C up top. So our A and C, second and first of G and B, we have the open A and then pinky third fret of the A for the C and then second fret of the D for the E and then we're going to switch to a B7 chord here. D sharp A open B. Um, down to the B and then we're going to get our E minor and then open D get our C, open G, and open E, B, open G, and open E, A sharp, open G, and open E, and then we're going to go back up to a B major chord, B, F sharp, and D sharp, so second, fourth, and fourth of the A, D, and, sorry, the yeah, second of the A, fourth of the D, and fourth of the B, and we get our open B, and A, and we are going to keep moving. to our E minor chord again. Now this time we have a, a tie on that bass note, so you're just going to, when we get this A and C with the little grace note, you're gonna do that without the bass line. And then otherwise it's the same as the open. Rest. So next we're gonna be messing with the five of four again, so we get our E minor. G sharp makes it a five of four, and we get that same kind of suspension, right? So we get one, two, three, one, G sharp, A, and C, and that's a one and two, open A, and then we get B, open G and B, and then a dotted note for the open E, open B and G, and we get this B7 again, D sharp, A, and F sharp up here, so one, two, B, and then our E minor here, second and open. Second of the D and open for G and high E and a low E. Right? So that very last bit we get one, two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. Okay guys, let's learn through this last line here. We have one, two, three, one, three, one, two, 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 three, one,